Hey internet, Eric here. Um, happy Bloody Sunday everybody. If you don't know what that is, uh, my buddy Corey over at the Nigor YouTube channel, uh, he created this concept, concept, concept called Bloody Sunday. And what it is, is every Sunday he, uh, he asks you to make a short, sweet, uh, concise video um, discussing a specific death or deaths, multiple if you need to, um, in a TV show, movie, uh, cartoon, what have you. Um, last week my video on uh, for Bloody Sunday was Stephen King related. This week is going to be Stephen King sequel related. This week I'm going to discuss a few deaths because they all happen in the same scene. From the Rage, Carrie 2. Um, obviously, if uh, we're discussing deaths in a movie, spoilers. Um, so watch at your own risk. The Rage, Carrie 2 is basically Carrie. We're following Rachel, who is Carrie White's half-sister. You know the drill. She's an outcast. Prank is played. She goes crazy. Kills everybody at the end. Um, specific deaths I want to talk about um, happen to three people in the same scene. Now, they've already played their prank on Rachel, and she's going ape shit, killing everybody in really cool, creative ways. Um, so this was made in 1999, I think. I'm not sure. Anyways, made in, yeah, 1999. And, of course, the budget is higher, the effects are better, more gore. Um, this scene here in particular, we're following Rachel, killing, she's killing everybody, and we're following... <laughs> Zachary Ty Bryan from Home Improvement, and you know, he's still got that face, he just want to fucking punch. Um, the blonde chick who from she was one of the Midnight Society members from Are You Afraid of the Dark? And she also played Claire or whoever Alicia Silverstone's character is in the Clueless TV series, and then some shaved some jock with a shaved head. The party is hap there's a big party happening at the jock's house. Uh, like I said, Rachel's killing everybody. And they run up to the jock's dad's uh, office or what have you. They they take his and they take his guns for protection. They run downstairs and they're standing outside this inside pool. All right, and well, Rachel's doing her thing. She walks into them. And these are like the three main bad guys or villains or what have you, antagonists. Um, and what is cool is um, you know obviously because you know the blonde, she is doing the the fake friend. Uh, role uh, Jack or Ty Bryan and the jocks are just assholes and what happens is what's really cool is the blonde is wearing glasses and we focus on her her glasses and then what Ra you know Rachel does she shatters the glasses and the glass shards go in the woman's eyes it's a really cool quick effect you know blood coming down the face and then we see the dead body fall we see the bloody uh, eyeless eye sockets Really cool effect. We move to Zachary Ty Bryan. And his shtick in this movie was all the jocks on the football team, they have like this playbook or whatever. And what it is is they're daring each other to bang different girls in high school and then they rate how they are. And Zachary Ty Bryan, it's a weird story, Zachary Ty Bryan caused the death of Rachel's friend because she found out that Zachary Ty Bryan was doing this. So, knowing that, Zachary Ty Bryan's got a spear gun and he's pointing it at Rachel. And what Rachel does is she makes the spear gun go off and shoot Zachary Ty Bryan in the crotch. But the thing is, which is, you know, you know, the poetic justice, but it doesn't just shoot him in the crotch. We see the shot of him getting shot and it rips either his dick or his dick and balls off attached to the hook. And that goes straight into the pool. Great effect. One of those, oh, cringy, holy shit moments. Um, I love it because, again, you just want to fucking punch Zachary Ty Bryant. Even just if you watch him on Home Improvement. And then we go to the jock, which is... It's a disappointing death because it follows up those two. This one should have been the first one. But... He shoots Rachel as she's doing this. He's shooting. He shoots her with a flare gun. So there's blood everywhere. And she's burning. She falls back into the pool. And of course, he does the stupid horror movie trope. He walks over to make sure she's dead. She jumps out and she pulls him in the pool. And this is kind of cool, but it's like I said, it's still kind of a weak follow-up to those deaths. Um, they're struggling in the pool. And as this is happening, the pool cover is closing. And he's fighting Rachel. His head pops up. He gets hit by the um, 
the cover, or the, I guess just called the cover, and he gets knocked to the ground, and then the pool closes. Rachel is able to cut through somehow. I think she takes the spear gun, pulls herself up. She survives. He drowns. It's a neat kind of effect because he's 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 drowning and he's he's coughing up blood. Um, so it looks neat, but it's kind of a weak follow up to the other two. But those first two kills, the the glasses shattering in the woman's face, and then Zachary Ty Bryan losing his dick. Great. Uh, effects, great gore, great holy shit, oh moments. Um, I'm not, I'll go into a, a review of the Rage Carry 2 eventually, but those deaths, oh, beautiful, love it. Um, that's it, short and sweet, to the point. Um, go check over the Need Gore channel, I'll put the link in the description I said before. He said Bloody Sunday is open to anybody, like I said, it doesn't have to necessarily be horror, it's just easier that way um like and subscribe comment below tell me what you think of those deaths would you like Jackie Ty Bryan to lose his dick <laughs> it would be great um cheers and happy bloody sunday